Greeting friends, I'm Jason and I'm ready to talk about stuff and things. I'm pretty passionate about the web video industry and anytime a new product rolls out or a new company makes an announcement about web video, it's pretty exciting. YouTube just announced that they're going to roll out live streaming. Now this isn't the first time YouTube's rolled out a live streaming feature. They've had this available to some of their partners in the past, exclusive partners, and also this is different from the Hangouts that is currently available with Google Plus or G Plus for the cool people. So what's different about the platform that YouTube's rolling out now for live streaming is that it provides a really cool interface of software that you download that will enable you to control, do some camera switching and things like that for a full, more professional live streaming situation. YouTube's calling the product YouTube Live and they're gonna start rolling it out slowly and it's gonna be available to all partners who are in good standing and have at least a thousand subscribers. YouTube Live will have some features that aren't currently available on YouTube Hangouts. It, it differentiates itself in a, in a variety of ways. One of the coolest is that you can monetize it with ads. You can do different ad placements in there. You can schedule the time that your event's gonna go live. This is really cool for people who wanna do professional, full-on events and do it right to your YouTube channel. Another really cool element about YouTube Live is that if you have somebody else on your channel watching a different video or something and not the, the live stream that you have going, There'll be a notification on all of your videos letting people know that you have a live event going on and you can click and it'll take you right to the live stream and people can watch it and you can monetize it, you can make money, you can show people what you're doing. It's really cool. I have huge hopes for this platform. I can't wait to try it out and see just how good it is. Now I'm a giant space geek. I love anything that has to do with aliens or UFOs or outer space and I certainly love sci-fi films that deal with either aliens or UFOs or anything else space related. So I was excited when I heard about an upcoming sci-fi movie that's actually going to shoot footage in space. Like real space footage, not CGI, not something created in a studio, but real space footage. That's awesome. According to The Hollywood Reporter, production slash distribution company Cinepix is teaming up with Centerboro Productions to produce the sci-fi action flick Newcomers. And they're going to send X-Corps commercial space plane, The Lynx, into suborbital flight and capture footage for this film. Exclusive footage. The plot of newcomers will center on a former NASA astronaut who has to save Earth from invading aliens and with the help of private space companies. Now that's awesome. I'm a huge fan of the private space industry and this brand new space race that's underway with all these private companies like x with their super awesome Lynx plane that's like a space shuttle but a cool looking space shuttle. And it's a suborbital plane that goes up and, and takes people who want to pay thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars for a nice little exclusive ride into space. But then you have Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, leading the charge in my opinion. SpaceX is my favorite. Then you have Richard Branson with his company, Virgin Galactic, and so many more leading this brand new space race that we're living in. This is a great time to be alive, great time to be a space geek. There's new news every day from the commercial space industry. And I think it's going to be the commercial space companies who first discover aliens. Well, Steve Wilhite, creator of the GIF, 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 or, is it GIF or GIF? GIF, G, GIF. Graphics Interchange Format was honored at this year's Webby Awards with a Lifetime Achievement Award. The New York Times recently pointed out that this 26-year-old file format itself was recently honored with the Word of the Year in 2012. Its recent resurgence in popularity is most likely due to social media platforms, specifically Tumblr, which is most likely why Marissa Mayer used Tumblr to announce Yahoo's recent acquisition of Tumblr using a GIF. In addition to its popularity, the file format has been the subject of much debate between internet nerds and tech geeks for years. It's pronounced GIF. No. No. It's GIF. GIF like peanut butter. GIF. GIF. No. It's GIF. GIF. Just like the peanut butter. GIF. Well, to put the debate to rest once and for all, Mr. Will Hyde explained to the New York Times, it's a soft G. Pronounced GIF. End of story. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Wilhite. I will never, never call it GIF. I, I've always been a GIF guy. To me, it makes sense because the G stands for graphics. G-g-g-graphics, not giraffics. 
Giraffic sounds cool though. It sounds like Giraffic's Park. Well, that's the stuff and things I wanted to talk about today. And if there's stuff and things you find interesting, leave your comments below the video. I can't wait to check them out.